Well, there's only one real way to start this video off, and that is by smashing a bear's head off with a sledgehammer. Fuck yeah. What's up, guys? Glock9 here, and welcome to my sledgehammer versus steel club video. Now, I don't plan on providing you guys with any kind of scientific data or anything like that at the end of this. It's really going to be just my opinion, and maybe you guys can form your own opinions by watching this gameplay. What we're going to do is fight a zombie horde here in Dyersville on foot. We're level 59. We've got a little bit of light military armor. I'll show you uh, how I spec'd my skill points. Uh, nothing in perception. I maxed out strength. Uh, maxed out skull crusher. Maxed out sexual tyrannosaurus. That's it there. Put a little bit into fortitude. Put a few points into pain tolerance. A few into healing factor. Maxed out cardio. And then almost maxed out agility. Maxed out light armor and put a bunch into parkour, and that's it. Now, I know you wouldn't normally spec your skill points this way, but that's why it's an experiment. I just want to see what's going to happen now that we did spec all of our skill points into being able to run around with the sledgehammer and get the most damage out of it. We got a level 6 steel sledge, bunch of modifiers in it. We're going to bring on a horde, fight it here in Dyersville on foot, see how it goes, and then I'm going to do the same thing with the Steel Club, except, of course, I'm going to spec my skill points a bit differently. And then we're going to fight a Horde here as well, and we'll see which one goes better, and we'll have a better idea of which weapon is more desirable. I won't say which is better, which you would prefer to use. Let's say it like that. All right, so let's bring on the Horde and get this shit started. Oh, let me show you the uh, mods I put on the Sledge. I got the Rad Remover on there. Uh, the weighted head mod, this grip makes it so you use less stamina, and then of course the burning shaft mod. So, here we go, I'm just going to wait here for a second, let the zombies kind of come to me, and then we'll start running. I think the trick here is going to be kind of running up on the zombies like this. We're going to want to train them, obviously, get them all together in a group. But walking backwards with the sledgehammer is not the best way. To do it in my opinion it's hard to get the timing right so i feel like running up on them like that is gonna work out nice let's cut through this backyard here close that door oh we got a dog in this backyard sorry buddy you gotta go man we just cut through their backyard and murdered their dog that's fucked up but it is the zombie apocalypse fucked up shit's gonna happen oh couldn't get the one shot on mo or two shots he's still alive this is going to be interesting. I still, even though I use the sledgehammer all the time, I still am off on the timing sometimes. Oh, that was good. And I also tend to aim a bit low, which isn't bad. Because you can still get a one-shot on them if you hit them in the chest. Oh, took a hit there. And a chest shot will usually send the zombie flying. Oh, got a headshot right there. I think we're doing all right so far.
I can't believe how many I set on fire at one time. Oh, damn it. These spider monkeys are worse than anything, dude. They're the ones doing the most damage to me. I'm going to grab this loot bag. Loot bags are fair play for medical supplies. So if I find any medical supplies in there, I can use them, but not any weapons. You know, if you find a gun in there, obviously we can't use that. Gotta stick with the sledge. I was trying to promote that car to explode. They're all around it. Oh, there it goes. That made a weird sound, though, didn't it? Dude, look at that. Oh, shit, they're pushing it around. Dude, the car broke into two pieces, and now they're pushing those pieces around. Look at this. Can I move it? Yeah, dude, what the fuck? I've never seen that before. Oh, shit. I wonder if that's just going to despawn. Probably. But look at that. I've never seen a car break in half like that. Oh, yeah, it just despawned. Oh, jeez, I'm getting my ass kicked. I'm, I'm so focused on the fucking car. Oh, jeez. All right, I'm using my first aid kit. Might have pulled the trigger on that a little early, but whatever. Maybe we'll get lucky and find another one in a loot bag. There we go. Now, I've got them trained real nice. They're in a tight little group. If we can just keep the timing right with the sledgehammer, we should be all right here. I don't see why we can't pull this off. I mean, if you're really just looking for an easy way to deal with the horde, just buy a Mega Crush every time you see one in a vending machine and just stack those things up and come Horde Night, all you gotta do is drink the Mega Crushes and run away. I can easily outrun this Horde while drinking these things. I could probably outrun them just with the coffee, but the Mega Crushes make you really fast, dude. You probably outrun Vultures, which haven't had any Vultures yet. Speak of the devil, now they're probably all gonna attack me. You know what I'm really surprised about is how many power attacks I can pull off without running out of stamina. It's like I could almost do them consecutively, especially when I got the coffee and the Mega Crush in my system. I mean, I'm not even using a regular... I'm just using straight power attacks. I'm not... Why even use anything else, you know what I mean? Look at this, it's just over and over again. Ooh, vitamin and a painkiller, that's good. We can use that painkiller if we need it, and if we become fatigued, we can clear that up with the vitamin. Now also, keep in mind, if I was actually fighting a horde on foot with a sledgehammer during, let's say, a survival series, I would have a lot more first aid on me than just one first aid kit. But I didn't want to bring more than that to this fight, because I wanted this to be more about the sledgehammer. You know, if I had a full stack of first aid kits plus first aid bandages on me, I could definitely defeat this horde. Uh, so I wanted it to be more of a challenge. Ooh, another loot bag. We'll run them around this backyard and then we'll pick that thing up. I'm surprised we haven't seen any cops yet. I was definitely expecting a good handful of cops, uh, uh, as well as demolishers. Now, demolishers might actually make things easier for me, though, because I could just trigger their button, run away with this mega crush, you know? And uh, his explosion would damage the zombies, not me. I certainly don't have to worry about him damaging my base. We don't have one. Oh, there goes some puke in the background. And these damn spider monkeys, dude. They're the ones, like I said, doing the most damage to me. They just keep whittling me down. Oh, shit. That spit almost hit me. Where is this cop? Oh, vulture. That might have been what was puking at me. Oh, I'm such an impatient asshole. Oh, and of course we're bleeding out now. Damn it. I had to go for that loot bag. I use the painkiller to try and keep our health from dropping too low. But uh, I don't have a bandage. I'll eat this food. I mean, I got some meat stew, too, that gives us some health back, but I'm not going to rely too much on that. We're infected. That's not a big deal. We're just trying to get through the night. My god, this thing really is devastating. 
It takes a special kind of patience, though, to do something like this, and I don't have that kind of patience. Uh, you know, if I did, I'd be doing a little bit better. I still might have my first aid kit, you know? If you have the patience to get a few kills, run away, get in a better position, a few more kills, run away, you know what I mean? For me, I get impatient and I just wind up standing right in front of them and just keep swinging, you know what I mean? But I'm trying my best to, you know, get some kills and then create some distance. Man, I was on a fucking roll right there. Doesn't seem like the horde is getting any smaller though, does it? I mean, I understand the more I kill, the more spawn in. But it seems like the horde is getting bigger. Oh, level 3 battle axe. Which, you know what someone told me? That's just the steel axe now. It's not even, you know, a battle axe. It's just called the steel axe and it's meant to replace the steel fire axe. And you're supposed to be just chopping down trees with that thing. And that's the dumbest fucking thing I've ever heard. They put a battle axe in the game and you're just meant to chop trees down with it? What the fuck is that? I mean, seriously, why even put it in the game then? Just keep the steel fire axe. It was, it was fine. That system was fine. And then change this steel axe to steel battle axe and make it another double-handed melee weapon. Because that's what I was going to use it for. I'm certainly not going to chop down trees with a battle axe. It's fucking stupid. Holy shit, that was a strike. Did you see them all fall down like fucking bowling pins? That's insanity, dude. Oh, I didn't even realize we were fatigued. Better pop a vitamin. There's so many fucking icons going on in the bottom left. It got lost in there. Plus, with all the coffee we've been drinking, I haven't noticed us moving any slower. We're pretty much on our last legs right here. Pretty big-sized horde. Like I said, if I had uh, a few more first aid kits and uh, a little bit more patience, then I think we'd be able to make this happen. But, uh, yeah, not, it's nothing I would suggest doing. You know, I definitely would not suggest creating a game and specking all of your skill points into strength and agility and skull crusher just so you can use a sledgehammer to fight a horde on foot. I don't think it's a practical thing, and here we go. We're going down, we're bleeding out. This is gonna be pretty much it here. Uh, do I have anything I can use? No, you know, we're just gonna bleed out and die here, it looks like. Yeah, that food's not gonna save us. Fuck. That's it for the sledgehammer. Alright, well we made it just past hour two with the sledge. Now to try with the steel club, and look at this, we got a bear right here. We killed one with one shot with the sledgehammer to the face. Let's see how the steel club does against the bear. Oh! Oh no. Oh no. Three! Three power attacks, four power attacks, five! Shit, this is not looking good. Come on. All right, bear's dead. We got infected. Took a bit of a beating right there. I could just go into god mode and get rid of all that shit. Well, I can safely say that the sledgehammer maxed out is much more effective against a bear than the steel club maxed out. But that's not what we're testing today. We all know the sledgehammer does more damage than the steel club. We want to see what's more effective running around fighting a whole bunch of zombies with. Now, I have the same mods in the steel club that I had in the sledgehammer, except I replaced the weighted head mod with the barbed wire. We got strength maxed out again. Uh, this time we got Pumble Pete maxed out, obviously, instead of Skull Crusher. Also maxed out Sexual Tyrannosaurus again. Um... Put some points into pain tolerance, healing factor, cardio's maxed out again, more points into agility, we maxed out flurry of blows this time, light armor is maxed out, and some more points into parkour. 
So things are almost the same, except instead of Skull Crusher, we're in Pummel Pete. And I also maxed out Flurry of Blows this time. That's a one-handed perk, you know, so it made no sense putting any points into there for the Sledgehammer. But anyway, enough bullshitting. Let's bring on the Horde and see what happens. All right, here we go. And I'm going to pretty much stay in the same location as we were in with the Sledgehammer. That was pretty good, running around this house, cutting through the backyard. And I'm going to stay with kind of the same tactic, you know? Just run up on them, give them a good whack. Damn, that was a... That was a pretty good reach right there, huh? Dude, I haven't played with clubs in a while. So, um, I'm gonna have to get used to the hitbox here. Looks like we got a way longer reach with this thing, though, than we do with the sledgehammer. So that's a good thing. Let's cut through this door here. Close that. Oh, <laughs> got a big opening right here. Come on, zombies. Let's go. Look at that reach, man. Oh, I need to be, uh, I aim low. That's a problem I always have, even in shooters. I just have the... Oh, that was a bad move. Let's go through here. Yeah, I just have the tendency to aim low. Uh, I need to work on that. Ooh, took his head off, though. Oh, damn it. Why is that health bar up there? Oh, shit, I'm in god mode. Whoops. That was a mistake. I just lost the agility uh, boost we had from eating that meat stew. Not a big deal. Let me get away from these zombies here and turn the debug menu off so I don't accidentally go into god mode again. Do that real quick. There we go. Alright, debug menu is off. Don't have to worry about that anymore. I mean, I, I was down to 154 hit points. It's not like... Uh, that made a big difference. I would have got those hit points back anyway from uh, healing factor. But uh, so far, dude, this is pretty sweet. I mean, definitely don't have to worry about stamina with the steel club. I could go heavy attack all day long and uh, not run out of stamina. I mean, we weren't really having a stamina problem with the sledgehammer, so we're definitely not going to have one here. Nice. Listen, I know we're still pretty early into this horde here, but I'm man enough to admit when I'm wrong. That guy has no arms. Did you see that guy with no arms? Um, because look at these fucking power attacks, how quickly I can crank them out. And we are getting one-hit kills occasionally. Um, it's working out pretty fucking good. You know, if I wasn't so damn rusty with a club, it'd probably be better. So, uh, it's still early. Let's see if we can get this car to blow up again. Come on, guys. Blow up the car. I want to see if that was a fluke, what happened in the last Horde night, or if that's just how cars blow up now. Oops. See ya, buddy. Look at that one shot. Sent that guy flying. 
Oh, there goes the car. Listen, I think this is the bottom line. And I'm confident enough to say this right now, before the Horde Knight's even over. I think the Sledgehammer's a better weapon if you're dealing with just a handful of zombies. You know what I mean? Or a bear. Or a wolf. Because it's going to do more damage. Look how sloppy I'm being right now. I'm going to try and hold off on using our first aid kit longer than I did when we were using the sledgehammer anyway. We've got a lot of loot bags we need to pick up. So let's run these zombies around and uh, we'll pick them up. And the car, the car looks like the car already despawned. Um, but anyway, yeah, I think uh, when you're when you're dealing with a handful of zombies or a bear or a wolf and you have to use a melee weapon, the sledgehammer is just a better weapon. It does more damage. But if you're trying to fight a shit ton of zombies or if you were going to design like a melee only base, I think you're better off with the steel club because you can just literally stand there and power attack all night long without probably even having to invest so many skill points into sexual tyrannosaurus and flurry of blows and all of that stuff now keep in mind like i've said earlier all this shit is maxed out now but i wanted to see both weapons at their best and i still don't think that it's practical to invest all of these skill points into you know homo pete and agility and flurry of blows and all of these things thinking that you can handle each horde with just a melee weapon. I don't think that's a practical idea, and I would never do it in a series unless that was like the challenge of the series. Of course, you're always better off with a gun. You know what I mean? If you have a choice between a melee weapon and a gun, use the fucking gun. I'm gonna take these painkillers since we found those and uh, hold off on using the first aid kit. I think I might have something here if, like, you kind of sidestep them a little bit. That's another thing. Like, you know, if I practice this a few times and develop the strategy, maybe you could just go melee on foot every horde night. It'd be interesting to see how far you could make it if you did a series this way. If you decided, listen, from day one, I'm going to spec all of my points into Pummel Pete, Flurry of Blows, Agility, Strength, and I'm not building a base. Every Horde night, I'm going to fight the Horde on foot. You know, bring as much first aid as you can find. As much, you know, coffee and mega crushes and all that shit. And just go on foot with melee every Horde night. How far can you make it? It'd be interesting to find out, that's for sure. It'd be a bit of a slow series, though. You know what I mean? Because it's not like you'd have a base to work on for seven days. You would just be trying to level up as quick as possible so you can, uh, you know, invest more skill points into strength and pummel peat, etc. You know what I'm saying? So it might make for a bit of a dull series unless you only recorded the Horde Knights. That might be a good way to do it, you know? Oh, getting a bit sloppy again. I figure, fuck it, might as well play just as sloppy as I did with the sledgehammer, so, uh, you know, my gameplay doesn't lend a factor into it. Because obviously I'm a bit more warmed up right now, since I just fought a horde. Well, it does a pretty good job, even standing in front of him like that. You know, it's not as devastating as the sledgehammer. Because the sledgehammer just will drop like a whole crowd. You know what I mean? If you, if you swing it right, if you get the timing just right. So it's certainly not as devastating as the sledgehammer. Definitely doesn't do as much damage. But uh, it is much faster. You know, you can pull off a lot more power attacks in a shorter amount of time and hardly use any stamina doing it. Some machine tool parts, those aren't going to help us. 
Now, I know I'm pretty much saying what everyone already knew. You know, the sledgehammer does more damage, but the steel club is faster, uses less stamina. But until you actually play with both and try to fight a horde with both, you don't really know which one is better. It's hard to go off of just stats, you know what I mean? Look how I got, like, all these fucking zombies on fire. Ooh, damn, we better... Ooh, 64 hit points. 58? All right, we better use this first aid kit. Getting a little sloppy here, but I guess my point to all of this is... It's really hard to say which one is better. I guess it depends on your play style. You know what I mean? Because like I was saying with the sledgehammer, if you have patience and you can get the timing just right, there's nothing better than that, dude. You run up, knock the shit out of like fucking eight of them at a time, back up, find your right moment. You know what I mean? But the steel club, if, if you like, you know, me being an impatient person, I feel like I can get a lot more hits in. Um... I don't know, dude. It's hard to say. I don't think I can say that one is better than the other. I think it really all does come down to your play style. Fuck, we're bleeding out. All right, listen. I'm going to take my pants off and turn those into a bandage. Shit, we got cop puke. That's probably the vultures again. Scrap those pants. Uh, come on. Turn those rags into bandages. All right, we're not bleeding out anymore, but at least we'll have some bandages now if we start bleeding out again. Oh, finally got that vulture, man. What a fucking mess. You know what I should have done before both of these Horde Knights? I should have looked at how many zombie kills I had and did the math this way. At least I would have known how many zombies I killed on e in each Horde Knight. You know what I mean? That was a mistake. I guess we'll just base it on how long we survive for. I mean, we're at hour one and a half right now. We got another hour to go to make it to where we were with the sledgehammer. We died at about hour 220 with the sledgehammer. I mean, I feel like I'm doing better here. But that's just because I'm, I'm hitting zombies more, I think. Oh, that was a nice one. Set a bunch on fire right there. Look at this. We could just dance around him. Oh, my goodness, man. The, the Steel Club is, is a beast, too, man. You can't deny that shit. You really can't. Look at this, dude. Just fucking him up, man. Damn it. There's another vulture around, too. Ah, uh, two more. Here's one. Come on, fuckers. Come here. That was bad timing. There we go. He's dead. There's another one. Come on, you little bastard. Here we go. Shit. My timing is just awful. I probably should have practiced with a few hordes before I started recording, but I thought that would be kind of cheating, you know? You just gotta go in and give it your best. Oh, not her hat off. Oh my god. Dude, I don't know. I know I said it's hard to say which one is better, but the Steel Club might be a little better. You know, especially if you're not a sloppy-ass player like me. If you have better aim and you have a better handle of the hitbox, the Steel Club's a monster. Especially if you're going to do a, 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 a melee-only base. So if you have some sort of protection, but a way to uh, melee the zombies, then I think in that situation you're better off with a club. Ah, we're bleeding out again. It's a good thing I took my pants off. That's not the first time I've said that. There's a herbal antibiotic. We can use that right now to help fight our infection. Not that it really matters, but what the hell, we'll do it anyway. And we are right around the time where we died with the sledgehammer. So if I had to give the win to one of these weapons, since I am doing a video called Sledgehammer vs. Steel Club, when it comes to fighting a zombie horde, I guess I'll give the crown to the Steel Club. 
However, in a normal playthrough, I'm still going to go for the Sledgehammer and Skull Crusher in the beginning because when raiding POIs and just dealing with a handful of zombies here or there, or if you happen to run into a bear or a wolf and you don't have a ranged weapon on you, the Sledgehammer is going to be better in that situation, in my opinion. You know what I mean? If I was going to do the challenge series, though, where we just use melee, then I would go Pummel Pete and go for the club. You know what I mean? If that was going to be my only option, was just melee only, then I'd go for the steel club. But, like I said, in a normal playthrough where you're just going to end up using guns anyway, I'd rather lean towards the sledgehammer and skull crusher in early game, and then in later game, just use guns. Oh, you sneaky little fucking spider monkey. We should try and fight a horde of just spider monkeys. I should spawn in like a hundred of them, and we should go to war with them with the steel club and see how that goes. Oh, here it is. Lights are going out. Oh, we're almost at hour three. Oh, didn't quite make it. Shit. Well, we did better. Or we made it longer, anyway, with the Steel Club. Would have made it even longer. Definitely would have made it into daylight if I would have just ran away a bit more instead of just pushing into the zombies constantly. Uh, anyway, let's turn on the debug menu here so uh, I can turn on God Mode and not be freezing to death. Let's also turn it up to daytime. Get rid of these clouds. There we go. Now we can see what's going on. All right, guys. I think I've babbled on long enough. I'll tell you what. Let's have you guys decide which is better. Here's what I'll do. I'll comment down below Sledgehammer versus Steel Club, and I'll pin that comment. And then under that comment, I will comment again Sledgehammer and then Steel Club, and you guys go there, and you like the one you want to vote for, and we'll see which one is the winner that way. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. I had fun making it, so I hope you guys had fun watching it. Thank you so much for watching and all the support. It really does mean a lot. You guys can follow me on Instagram or Twitter. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more 7 Days to Die, and I got some more Grounded coming up here real soon, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.